In CyberFlood 21.6, there is a new security test builder called Cyber Threat Assessment, or CTA. Prior to 21.6, we had Cyber Security Assessment, or CSA, and Advanced Cyber Security Assessment, or ACSA. CTA is a single player that combines CSA and ACSA and has two modes, basic and advanced. Basic has everything that CSA had and more, and Advance has what ACSA had plus more capabilities. Let's take a look. As an example for CTA in basic mode, let me show such a test and the options available for such assessments. You notice that it looks like the CSA, but it has more options. Let's go through them and highlight the additional options. First of all, we get a scheduler that can automate our assessment run based on time or certain events. We also have start delay and time limits for execution. In this area next to timers, we get the findings trends, that is a graphical representation of findings based on their severity. One new aspect is now we have an area for topology that's populated with things that are familiar to you if you were a user of CSA. We get to specify direction of the test and the resources for the test, the subnet for both sides, and virtual routers as before for both sides. You also get to configure dot in the middle as before. One enhancement in basic CTA that was not part of CSA is the network settings. So similar to other test builders, now we can adjust, for example, TCP settings as needed. One thing that you may think is missing compared to CSA is the background traffic, but that is here too. As part of Cogwheel attack plan settings, you have encryption of the traffic and evasion techniques, as well as packet capture, scenario network timeout, as well as the background traffic. As the last part of the assessment configuration, we get to specify the attack plan and attack vectors, which gives you more flexibility to group and move them around. In this attack plan, we have a number of attacks malware as well as non-malicious Adobe traffic and an Adobe and Word document marked with sensitive information. You also have ability to change from custom to melee, which you need to be careful with because that could include tens of thousands of scenarios. And you get to control the evasion techniques on per attack vector basis here. Before running an assessment, let's look at advanced assessment as well. In advanced mode, you have the same features as in basic for scheduler, start delay and duration limit, as well as findings trends. Topology area, you will start to see the differences between basic and advanced mode. You have the same resource specification, but topology is more flexible in advance, so you have multi-stage complex networks with multi-path and ability to define zones with subnets and network profiles for every zone. You notice this currently does not have the virtual router compared to basic, but you can specify multiple zones and multiple dots, which in this example topology, we only have one dot. There are other advantages and flexibilities in advance compared to basic CTA, and one example of that is attack vector support for industry frameworks such as MITRE attack. This adds to the list of supported malicious scenarios such as attacks, malwares, 
and non-malicious traffic such as regular application scenarios and flexible smart apps, as well as sensitive data information that you saw in basic CTA 2. In terms of evasion techniques, you can turn it on at the global level or on attack vector basis. In this case, for this segment, HTTP double encoding is turned on. With an overview of basic and advanced CTA capabilities covered, let's run one of these assessments and look at the live and final reports. As you can see during the run, you can stop or pause the assessment, get a progress bar, and also the topology actively shows you how far the attack has gotten with this dash purple line. You can also see if attack is underway in one segment or if it has crossed the firewall and is pivoting into other segments. Finally, at the end, all the links that are breached are shown with a red solid line. And you also get detail of each scenario if it has CVID, its timestamps, associated IPs, and more importantly, the results which indicate if the DOT was able to detect and block the attack. Let's go to the top and review the final report now. You can see in the final report there is summary section for the entire assessment that lists based on findings, zones, dots that have active links. For example, we can drill down on scenarios that were not blocked for the internet zone. Furthermore, we can view the entire assessment in terms of scenarios or MITRE attack. In this case, there is a number of tactics that are green indicating vulnerabilities were blocked, red indicating that they were not blocked, and some that did not have coverage in this case. You can view scenario or MITRE for entire assessment or just segment by segment. You can also drill down from techniques back to scenarios and see the detail. For example, the call flow and the blockage point. Let's quickly go back and switch to scenario based and cover one other point. We will look at internet to Wi-Fi zone with various types of traffic as an example. You notice the green block text in the third row indicating that the malicious traffic that was stopped in this case. The red not block text in the second row indicates the non-malicious traffic, in this case Office 365 Excel traffic, flowing through and not blocked, which is expected. And then not blocked with color-coded background in the first row indicating the severity of the missed vulnerability and the malicious traffic which in this case is red and severe. Before we wrap up I would also like to cover the topic of migration namely from CSA and ACSA to CTA. CyberFlood will automatically perform the migration during upgrade or during test import. As an example, let's take a look at these tests before and after the upgrade. As you can see, this is a pre-CyberFlood 21.6. With CSA and ACSA tests, we will perform an inline upgrade and we'll inspect these tests. After the upgrade, you can see that the CSA and ACSA are migrated over. Let's look at what happens to CSA first and then ACSA. As you can see, the CSA is migrated over, but notice that only resources, queue, and ports are editable. The rest of the test is not editable by design. You also have the option to convert it to CTA basic, as you can see here. Of course, you can run this assessment as is too. For the ACSA that gets converted to advanced CTA, 
you see that the fields are completely editable and of course you can run it as a CTA as my very last point when dealing with CTA basic and advanced remember that you can move from basic to advanced but not reverse This wraps up our overview of Cyber Flood Cyber Threat Assessment. Check out our blog pages for more cybersecurity and Cyber Flood Cyber Threat Assessment information. Thanks for watching.